In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called the Pythagorean Theorem. We're asked to solve for x and to round our answer to the nearest hundredth. And the Pythagorean Theorem tells us that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that is where a and b are sides of a right triangle. And c is the hypotenuse. And for the example that we have here, the right angle has sides of 10 and 12, and the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle, which in this case is x, the value that we're trying to find. So if I substitute into our Pythagorean theorem, our a's and b's are 10 and 12, so I'll say 10 squared is a squared, plus 12 squared is b squared equals c squared. c being the hypotenuse here means that's x squared. So having done the substitution, we can now solve for x first by squaring the 10. That would be 100 plus squaring the 12 is 144 equals x squared. And then doing the addition, we have 244 equals x squared. So we've solved it for x squared and our last step is going to be to take the square root of both sides so that we can solve for x. On the right hand side the square root of x squared is going to give us just the x by itself and on the left hand side we have the square root of 244. Using a calculator here since that's not a perfect square we would have 15.620 four, nine, nine, and more digits. But the instructions here say to round our answer to the nearest hundredth. So if I look at the hundredths place in our answer, that would be the two. I'm supposed to round to that decimal place. In doing so, since the two is followed by a zero, I wouldn't round up to a three, I would leave that as a two. So to the hundredths place, we would have 15.62. That is our rounded solution for x.